cosmic vastness of space, it lies before us, a looming, dark mystery. It stares down from high above. But what really lies beyond our galaxy? Do we rule the stars, being the only life forms of existence? Or are there others? Sightings of strange objects in the sky have been reported by millions of people. Even accounts of visitations of creatures from other planets are documented on a weekly basis. One of the more unfortunate incidents is the capture of unwilling victims for experiments and observations. Where do these creatures come from? What do they want on Earth? Are they friends? Or do they watch our planet with evil intentions, waiting for the right time to slip past our uncaring eyes and reveal their hidden agenda? We can only pray that day will never come, and if it does, pray we are ready. Happy Holidays and Ho Ho Ho! It's B Movie Mania. <laughs> Oh, stop, boys! I scared boys. the crap out of my dogs. I <laughs> scared the shit out of me. I didn't expect you guys to do that after my nice little intro about space Mike, aliens. Mike, that Mike, that was a great intro. We we didn't do it. I think they're in your apartment. Ooh. Oh shit! Where? <laughs> <laughs> shit! Probably the Mike. You really uh, channeled your inner Criswell on that one. <laughs> that was good. Oh well. Uh, to be honest, this. Uh, so we, we watched the sequel of a movie for this holiday special, and this is actually the intro uh, paragraph or, or monologue from the first movie, because oh, I only got to watch about the beginning of it and see all this and realize, <laughs> oh, this would be perfect for this beautiful podcast, this wonderful occasion, and it's a good way to describe and introduce our listeners to Feeders 2, Sleigh Bells. Mike, Mike <laughs> thank, thank you for citing your sources. Yeah. yeah, you know, I'd, right off the top, too. I didn't even wait till the end. <laughs> Speaking of sighting, uh, with the, I'm Michael Hayes, and you're listening to the B-Movie Mania Holiday Special. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, with me, as always, is the uh, jolly Chris Hudson. <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. laughs> And... and <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> and the wonderful and merry Jason Halls. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> hey, so I just want to say off the top here, I'm pretty sure at least half of this movie was just the aliens making noises. So oh, I, yeah. I think it's only fitting that half the podcast is us making. No, aliens. here. Okay, here's the thing. All right, listeners. So the awful noise you've been hearing is a very good representation of what the aliens in this movie sound like. <laughs> Are they and in pain constantly? I no idea. You know, I they really, just... I really want to see a version of this movie with subtitles for the aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Just to know just what re- the fuck they're talking just a, about. Just a special release. <laughs> that would be oh. amazing. Okay, Polonia, let's hear it. Let's see it, buddy. Oh. Re-release this special edition, please. Um, fuck, man. Well, yeah. So, so basically, <laughs> there's a movie <laughs> called Feeders Two, dear listener, uh, and it is a kind of a famous movie, actually. <laughs> uh, it's by it's by John and Mark Polonia, uh, who are two famous B movie, you know, indie directors. I'd never heard of uh, until this movie. Neither and neither had I. But you can go down a rabbit hole oh of their God, history. They Holy shit! A, one of them is still making movies. Yeah, still yeah. doing stuff. <laughs> yeah, today. yeah, that's awesome. Like stuff I, I stuff I haven't watched. I don't think, but stuff I've definitely seen and almost watched. And now I'm going yeah. to watch all of it <laughs> well, because <laughs> in this man. movie came out in 1998. But dude, like, oh my god! I, when I when the in the, just in the very beginning, like when they're with the logos and everything, it's almost like, you know how today a lot of um, people try to replicate that look and feel of the '80s. It was I, I was like, is this was this made like in modern times trying to replicate the '80s or something? It was 
a very vivid presentation of the 80s. I found this dusty VHS tape, and I'm popping it in the VCR. That's what the opening reminded me of. Yeah. Just well, I'm almost I'm certain watching. they filmed it on probably tape. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm pretty sure I mean, they did. Shot on video for but, sure. Like they, they couldn't even afford high eight at this point. It was all VHS. <laughs> I think they've said they didn't spend any money on this. Yeah. No, well, it, it's... I mean... It shows. I... <laughs> I, I can't even, like, the description on Amazon isn't good for this. Like, the Amazon <laughs> description is, aliens invade Earth over the Christmas holidays and it's up to Santa Claus and his elves to save the world. <laughs> not a good description. No, That's no, not no. what happens in this not movie. At all. Wait, should we just do quick takes? I mean, that might co- sort of... Yeah, uh, fuck it. All right. Yeah, let's do quick takes. Quick takes! Jay, what what's your quick take of this film? Well, okay. My quick take is also kind of a a mini synopsis, but really for people who've listened to a lot of this podcast. And it's... Oh, God. God If you've ever... (laughs) If you've ever wanted fungicide meets aliens on Christmas, this is the stocking stuffer for you. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Definitely. (laughs) Uh, Hudson? Um, It's too bad uh, our listeners won't be able to see the subtitles, but my quick take is... Wait, you know, Chris, I actually speak... God. I, I, I took some language courses, and if... Chris, could you start that over, and I'll just say it, what... I'll no. say the subtitles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a good... That's a good... Yeah, okay, you ready? Thing. Okay, right here, yeah. Go ahead. I really enjoyed this film overall. There was some good and funny parts, but I do have some criticism. Oh, God. Well, that that's a great segue for my quick take, because my quick take... <laughs> is I am sorry, dear listener, that you're going to have to hear so much of this alien screaming throughout this podcast. <laughs> it is, it is the, the, the real sound effect is unlistenable to. The, the Chris Hudson's very accurate uh, recreation is unlistenable. It, it's just, it's, it's torture for your, your holiday ears, and I am sorry. Well, I'm sure we've put it in as a sample by now. So the No, of course we have. Of course we <laughs> so have, the Jay. listeners know. <laughs> <laughs> But okay. did, can the listeners tell the difference between mine and the actual <laughs> bit? <laughs> write us, write us with your answers. Fuck, guys. Okay, so, so, so the actual synopsis for this movie, I would say, is uh, a family is preparing for Christmas, and aliens come to Earth and kill some people near in their town, and then try to kill the family. Like yeah, and, pretty much. And you know what's you know what's really great about this movie is they just jump right into that. There is no yeah. sort of recap of the first movie that has nothing to do <laughs> with this movie itself. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, in the beginning, there's uh, I must I I did look this up. This is clips from the first film, right? Like yeah, it's yeah, gotta be. It is. Yeah. So I feel like I don't guy, even need to watch the first film now. Uh, exactly. Like a guy with real long hair starts telling a story where he confesses to killing his best friend. They're recording this. Some, like, people you don't see are recording it on a giant tape recorder. Um, <laughs> and then you get lots of flashes from the first film. And, and we should also be clear, when we're talking about these aliens, they look <laughs> like little paper mache puppets. Oh, God, they are. And I shouldn't <laughs> say, they don't look like it. They are little paper they, mache puppets. With little with little spindly arms and legs that look like they just <laughs> stuck wires or coat hangers out or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can't even tell what these are. Whatever it's the so low-budget thing you're imagining is, it's probably not even... Yeah, your imagination point. is a higher budget than these they had for these aliens. <laughs> I mean, the, the eyes are simply just colored. Like with like a marker. these big red circles, yeah, yeah that yeah. are just yeah, and, and, tempera paints. And you know what's really great about these aliens? I don't think we've touched upon their their voices, how they talk. No, okay, guys, we have to. We have. Pe- this is something that's literally just being piped into someone's ears. We can't. Uh, we can't keep doing this. Oh, poor Kenny. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I had. I'm just gonna say two these two little notes I have here regarding this, and then maybe we can just move past the sound altogether. <laughs> I, I did know that I hope that I get to make creature sounds like this for a feature film someday. <laughs> I think that would be fun to do. But I also wrote at about 15 minutes in, the roar oh, starts god. to get annoying. <laughs> oh my god! It's yeah, so terrible. It doesn't stop. Like, well, it stops when they're not on the screen, but anytime it jumps to them, it's like they have to just keep making the noise. It's as if as if when they're being filmed, it is like sucking the soul from their body I and think, they're just in constant pain. I think their souls they I think these little paper mache things have souls. And they they're, they're cognizant of the fact that they're little paper mache beings and they're in pain and they want to die. It's like someone, some like put someone Pinocchio to them, and yes. they became real aliens, and now they're just in pain because they have no actual organs or functioning right. parts, and they remember what life was like, and this is the only noise that they can make. They, they just, they, they're just really just begging to be sent back to sweet oblivion. <laughs> yeah, they're just send me they're, out of this movie. Just stuff me with candy and hit me with a bat. Please put me out of my misery. <laughs> oh, please kill me. That that's what they're saying the entire time. Yeah, that's the subtitles right Fuck. there. Fuck. Please kill me. Oh, God. <laughs> so after we get, like, this guy, this long-haired, you know, uh, interview, whatever you want to call it, confession or whatever it is, out of this guy, we jump to the family. And they look like they're in, I don't know, 1985, Ooh, probably? Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, they're I not. Mean, I really thought we were watching Phobe for a moment. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. it's like the aesthetic of the, of the characters is very... I mean, is it the 80s or is it the, the or the 90s or is it the 80s, man? Like the dad's got this thick ass mustache and that's it. He's a string bean. Yeah. yeah, and then mom mom's got a Wisconsin haircut and uh, and no emotion really. She's just oh. her line delivery is flat to the <laughs> no, entire movie. No one has any emotion in this film. <laughs> Alan, are you leaving work early? I'll try, but don't hold your breath. But today is Christmas Eve. Tell that to my boss. He doesn't care. It's just another day to him. What's on your agenda? Wrapping gifts and wrapping gifts and wrapping gifts. Sounds like fun. I'll call you later. Hey, what's Santa bringing me for Christmas? What do you get a woman who has everything? More. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. That's the lovely Bernice. That back and forth between the two at the beginning there is just fantastic. Oh. <laughs> oh. And they've got two good little helpers. You know, they a little boy kids. and a little girl. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and they are they're pretty cute. And they're, uh the, I think the little, I think they're excited to be in a movie. Yeah. Yes. They're, they're a little rambunctious and one of them has a pretty bad gas problem, which I'm sure we'll talk about. <laughs> <laughs> they, no, fuck it, right now, Chris, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, when dad's gotta go to work, because Dad's woken up by the uh, the feeders shining the light in his in his room, but that's a weird airplane. But oh. so so the kids are fighting. He says goodbye, and uh, the cute, sweet little boy in like the the head to toe footy pajamas gets knocked down by his sister. <laughs> and when he gets up, we got he he just rips a loud one. Maybe Santa will bring me some sanity for Christmas. <laughs> so oh my loud. God. Literally, even the captions say loud fart, not just fart noise. Or sometimes they'll, the captions for a fart will be like raspberry or something. No, it just says loud fart. <laughs> it's so. <sighs> can, we, can we back up a little, a moment here? Because I mentioned it just yeah. now, but about when the feeders arrive and they're shitty looking flying saucers. <laughs> <laughs> just shine a light in the like in the dad's face, I guess, through the the window. Doesn't wake yeah. up the wife or anything. He just gets up, and just looks outside. He's like, "Is that an airplane?" I'm like, come on, dumbass! Airplanes don't hover over your house and shine lights into it. Come on. <laughs> and you you have to think he'd have heard because what once the aliens appear in some sort of like uh, I don't what what made visual graphics on a home computer in. 1998. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Avid Avid Pro. Avid Pro is what they had on their Macintosh Performance 638 CD, and they used that to make these little explosion things that the aliens appeared from, and then they instantly just start screaming, because I think that's when they started existing. 
<laughs> They're beamed into existence. Yeah. yeah. Just. And just the screaming uh, begins. Yeah. And yeah. then, yeah, and the dad doesn't hear that somehow. Or maybe nope. that's why he thought it was an airplane. Maybe he heard that and thought that I, has to know, be a jet engine. Is, I'm, I really think that most of these characters are, are deaf. Or maybe maybe they have no souls too because they can't hear the soul yeah. suffering of the feeders and they just just ignore it. I maybe yeah, maybe it's such an intense, an intense awful sound that it's actually like outside of the human range of yeah, hearing. Could be in reality, it picks reality, up on because, film, but yeah. in reality you can't hear. But it. there it's are but but there are sound. moments they're like screaming right outside the door and nobody they pff, I don't fucking hear it. You know, yeah. we're almost to a point here with where uh, what might be one of my favorite lines of the movie, um, <laughs> when because yeah. then we we're, we abruptly switch over to an old lady's house, oh, and this is something yep. that I I did not uh, get closure on here. <laughs> We've okay. got okay, so the old lady is on the phone with Bernice, the mom of the two children and the wife. She's an old lady with a cat. And the cat goes missing, and um, she goes looking for the cat. And she, <laughs> fluffy, they, fluffy, fluffy, where's my fluffer nutter? <laughs> Doesn't she call him like her big bad boy or something too? I, yeah, I, well, I think so. But she definitely something. calls him the fluffer nutter. Yeah, like fucking the cat. I really like that the cat goes missing because the aliens like are like in her basement somehow They're and in then they glow basement. yeah well yeah <laughs> but they like the cat is hanging out on the kitchen floor the the alien downstairs makes an awful noise and glows <laughs> terrifyingly red and then the cat runs down the to it and like, then the alien I gotta eats get me it. some of that the alien eats the it, cat yep like i just don't understand why the cat was attracted to it <laughs> <laughs> and and when you see the cat die it's 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 like <laughs> they got a hairnet and they put some sort of like goop on it and threw it against uh, a cardboard box. And that yeah. was this to signify that the cat was dead. You know, you know, actually, now that I think about it, I think that the reason why the cat went down to the basement to check this out is because now I'm a cat person, but even so, oh, no. I kind of know this, but I think the cats are attracted to the souls of the suffering. The suffering, so whatever. Uh, Maybe the cat was going to usher its soul to the other side. Well, it's probably that going to take sense. joy in the suffering that these little yeah. alien guys have. <laughs> that makes a lot. Of, that actually makes a lot of sense. Oh wait, can I say one more thing about the old lady here? Because she's pretty much done after this. <laughs> well, she, yes, she is very much. Yeah, yeah, she goes looking for Fluffernutter, and she <clears> goes <throat> to the basement, and is is she sees what's left of the cat. And it looks like, again, it looks like a pile of dark paper mache, and then the alien eats her. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> she's done. Yeah. We get a good scream out of her, and then uh, she's dead. Now, she's another, dead. Gr- another great thing about these aliens is, you know, they're attacking people and eating people, and it, we'll find out soon that they, they don't just eat the elderly and their kittens. Uh, you think these aliens are kind of big, but no, they're like... A foot and a half tall, two feet tall. Like you can <laughs> yeah, pick tops, these guys. Yeah, you tops. can pick these things up and just like beat their heads against the wall or something. It wouldn't be and, that hard. And they just have like a peanut shaped body yeah. with spaghetti arms and legs. <laughs> yeah. And then a tennis ball size head. <laughs> and then that's it. So I don't know where all of this feeding goes into. Yeah. Because <laughs> they eat well, a little. Ma- well, maybe that's part of their their pain. They keep eating, oh, but they still have a pang of yeah. hunger. Just it Ooh, won't go away. It that's probably well, what it is. Also, yeah. here's another thing too. D- you know I, that I took in my notes. We don't actually ever see anyone get eaten on screen. No, that's true. We that's don't true. know hmm. how they're killing these people. Maybe they want to feed, but since they have paper mache <laughs> mouths, they can't, and that's also <laughs> part of their pain and frustration. <laughs> These poor aliens. They're just so never-ending torture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, 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 okay. I got to stop laughing. All right. So, then we go to the preacher's house, because yeah. they fed on Grandma, so now they're going to go to a preacher's house. Where was that? The mountain... It was the mountain yeah. chapel. It, it was like this beautiful... Looking chapel and against this picturesque mountain backdrop. But wait, wait, what preacher? Did I did I miss an introduction here with the, are you, the preacher? I are don't, you kidding? I don't, just, they, are you doing a bit? I'm doing a bit. 
The guy, the guy with the collar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that they just kind of showed the guy reading the Bible. With no yeah. introduction or any sort of. Oh yes, right, right. <laughs> they just jump in and he's there. And just like the woman, yeah. they just they randomly jump around to different townspeople. Yeah, I, I think they're just slowly making their way to I don't know, the house. I guess I don't know. Oh, I thought that like there were a bunch that were beamed down into various people's basements or the, something. I thought there'd be a bunch of these guys. Well, a, a thing, okay, about the basement, you know, like, what? there's something else going on in this, this church, too, because... There's a gateway to hell down there. Oh, my... The, the priest goes down into the basement, and there is a gaping hole in the foundation of this church. Like, yeah. immediately your church is condemned if this, this hole... And he- is there? He looks surprised. I think. I think this hole is like there's like a green light coming from it or something. At least. But the aliens scene. did not do that because no. if the aliens well, did that, the guy's reaction would be, "Oh my God! There's a cave now that is in the foundation of it is huge." Yeah. <laughs> and so, like, the, and then he steps in something silver. It looks like mercury, but we never find out sure. what that is. Well, you I know, think why I think would the, we? I think the feeders just decided to eat a different movie for a moment, and we just caught a glimpse <laughs> of it. Well, yeah. So at this point, you know, we, we jump to Alan, the dad. He's at work, uh, and he loves his job. <laughs> oh boy, he loves it a lot. His, Can we just boss. put in? Okay, his boss comes up, right? Can we just God. put the entire interaction in here? Because <laughs> yes, I, I don't think we're going to do it justice. Yeah. No, we won't. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of people every year claim to see UFOs or see beings from another planet. The U.S. government flatly denies the existence of aliens, friendly or otherwise. Parker, what do aliens have to do with insurance claims anyway? Uh, nothing, sir. That's right, you stupid son of a bitch! Get back to work or spend the new year on the unemployment line! Yes, Mr. Hatton. Merry Christmas. I hate Christmas! And you're not leaving early either! No problem. I, uh, better get back to work. You asshole. You better! Scrooge. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying uh, to capture, like, in my mind, like, what do I want to say about this? And I'm like, you know what? Just put the whole, just put it in. Just put and, the thing in there, yeah. And, and you know, I, yes. think, I think the biggest, the biggest missed opportunity this movie had is you've got a, you've got the boss. You've got a villain right here. Just everyone will be rooting for the feeders to eat this guy, right? You're right. Oh. Never yeah. see him again. He's in that Didn't. one scene. That's a great point. Yeah. Instead, the feeders get the priest and the old lady and the pallet guy. Pallet. Yeah, because that's where that happens after this. They go like, yeah, they could have killed the boss, yeah. even if he wasn't the main villain. They could have killed him. Yeah. Doesn't die. We jump to someone else that gets murdered. Yep. <laughs> it's unfortunate. So, now the uh, the guy who gets murdered at the pallet factory at least was like stealing money from the yeah. pallet factory yeah. apparently. Because he's the evil. <laughs> I almost I forgot guess. about the pallet factory. <laughs> It's just a bad guy. He's just a bad dude. He's like, they won't miss a couple hundred bucks. And he puts it in his pocket, and the feeders just kill him. That's it. He's yeah, done. I, just another guy to kill. Oh, God. So, yeah, so they kill a bunch of people, and then then it's Christmas Eve, actual, like actual evening night, right? Dad gets home from work, I guess, uh, not early, and, uh, you know, preps the kids for bed, put out the milk and cookies, Kids ask questions about Sandy Claus, you know, all that shit. The, the stuff that's in the house, there's like a constant loud ticking clock that sounds oh like yes. it's right oh next God. to the camera. Time is running out for all of these people. No, it just uh, it reminded it me how long this movie keep, is just like this keeps no. going and I can hear every second of it in my mind. <laughs> Now, now, did we did we miss skip over the part where the kids are watching this boring ass cartoon and we think the feeders are gonna eat the kids? Oh yeah, we did. Sorry, yeah. Oh, God. 
<laughs> well, what what I do think is interesting during that cartoon scene uh, or around that cartoon scene, the kids are like looking out the window and like they see <laughs> well, they aliens see one out there. So they, they see one yeah. of them. The aliens yeah. must be everywhere. And they're like, what is that? They're like, it's a laughing elf. And that's what they think it is. <laughs> they, they think are these everywhere. grotesque creatures. <laughs> the dad sloshes yeah. one with his car on the way home. It's sloshing. Oh, that's right. He hits a puddle and knocks <laughs> one over. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. He gets snow thrown all up on him. Oh, God. Uh, and okay, oh, fuck man. Again with the basement, like Dad and Bernice go down to the basement to get the presents, and one of the aliens finally <laughs> rushes at them, but it hits its head on something and knocks itself out. Right? Yeah. Now this is the prime example of you get the noise, but Alan and his wife are just like looking. Where do we put the presents? I think mm-hmm. they're like looking through old like basement junk. There are no presents down there. And uh, then yeah, Jay. <laughs> yeah. So it hits its head. And, and Alan picks it up, and he's just like, huh, this must be some toy that one of the kids have, and just throws it aside. So he doesn't, just he, he doesn't it aside. even recognize it as a biological being. <laughs> <laughs> he picks it up and realizes it as a paper mache item and throws well, it that's away. That's what it is. It, yeah. is. it is a sentient paper mache. <laughs> it was rushing at them, hoping that Alan would kill no, it. You, you know, <laughs> Please crush me. This this brings, so this makes me think of something. Is I, are, are these flying saucers these guys are flying around in? Are they stolen? Because they show no, like... Like affinity for technology, they don't have any oh. like night beast style laser guns or anything. They That's just like true. run around and like make their shitty noise and just eat. That's people. a good point. <laughs> Did they eat the the <laughs> owners of this flying saucer? Yeah, they have high technology and they don't use it. No clothes, no <sighs> weapons. They spent all their technological <laughs> points uh, on that instead yeah. of other technologies because yeah, yeah. this is the world is Civ visualization yeah, I mean, the and, video and game and you think if, if they had technology they'd at least have some functioning fucking arms well <laughs> listen when God gives you spaghetti you make arms <laughs> <laughs> oh oh this is okay um, this next this is sad this next oh part God. this made me oh, sad yeah. well yeah. Well, let me can I set up Jay what you're about to say can yes. I set it up we left out one family member <laughs> we did Oh, we left yeah. out a cute, adorable doggy. Yeah. And this doggy has a broken arm. It's got this hot pink cast on. So it's obviously like a family dog that they, you know, just said, let's put, let's put Doggo in the movie. Mm-hmm. And they're, it's very cute. And then it, everything's fine because the movie's over and the dog lived. Well, <clears throat> no. I don't well, want to say it. I don't want to talk about this. Okay, I'm just going to say it right out here. The dog is eaten by the feeders. Oh. But... But you know what makes it okay <clears throat> is that that it's poorly this, shot, so you don't. Well, notice. there's that. You don't actually see it being eaten. <laughs> but the the feeder that knocked itself out before it eats the dog when it it farts as it gets up. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> what is with the fart jokes? <laughs> oh, God, I, I mean, that's. No I think that's the only two of them, right? But there's only two, it. yeah. <laughs> but they're weird and they're there. Oh, God. Um. <laughs> hey, Mike. Mike, what's Santa doing? <laughs> this is my favorite part of movie. Oh, yeah, of the I guess movie. this is a Christmas movie. Yeah. What? What? So, obviously, Santa's in this movie. It's got to be. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Sa- Mike? What? Surely you're yeah. talking about just, like, a mall Santa. That yeah, is. is it a mall Santa? No, it's a real Sandy Claus with an elf that's a full-size elf. And the Santa, the Sandy is, is flying through the air with all his reindeer, and he's flying through the snowstorm, guys. It's cool as hell. The special effects are amazing for this. Everyone should go watch it. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, no, God. spoiler, my review is watch this movie. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he's just flying through the air and then he's going to land on all the houses in every, every town in the world and uh, give the boys and girls presents. And is that how, what happens? Is that how it goes? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I mean, he was, that's, he, not what that, happens. that's what he would do if there wasn't a flying saucer shooting at him. Yeah. yeah they're watching flying on their radar. Flying shoots at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> So how, how did I, I can't remember how did the aliens how did the aliens go from on the flying saucer to literally inside of Santa's face I don't, don't remember know. they shoot I him down no don't they don't they shoot down the sleigh because yeah. the elf dies 
Well, they do, yeah. but yeah, but there's at one point, Santa's still flying in his sleigh, and the aliens <laughs> are like on his face trying to chow <laughs> down. His face. And so fucking Elf and is he's getting screaming, mauled. and the aliens screaming, and they're both in pain and it's just a shaky camera and I don't know what this I don't know how this was made yeah. it was I don't understand this how is, they did this shot this is where the movie just like went to another level for me it's like what yeah. is even going on anymore you mean that that back to back with uh, Alan and Bernice running upstairs to have sex oh uh, <laughs> feet don't fail me now oh my god it's so good while okay, Santa's she's having like, his face chewed, she's like, oh, hey. Yeah. Then, then she's getting her face chewed. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, Sex. So, yeah, so they, they ate an elf. They, the elf they ate an dead. elf. The elf is they dead. Crash, they crash landed Sandy Claus. I, I was sure and, Santa and was then, dead. Well. Oh, oh listeners, listeners. Do um, you remember how in the beginning of this we talked about the guy with long hair? Yeah. He's back now. I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it cuts Guys. back. It cuts back to his interview, and I'm like, I for, I had forgotten that that whole thing had even yeah. happened, and I'm like, is this whole story part of the interview? Like, is this because it, it's now it's he's doing like a voiceover, and I'm like, is this a flash? Is the whole movie a flashback? What is going on? It, it's a long flashback, too. Like, yeah. this is like seven minutes you, or something. You pretty much get yeah. the entire first movie at this point. Yeah, and then then for a second, in the flashback, there's a guy that looks just like Alan. And it yeah, is yeah. The, uh, the guy's <laughs> it brother. Is. Yeah. But I thought, I'm like, is it him? What's happening? Yeah, that, that's what I thought. This is what the movie really missed out on. Chris, you had something earlier that you're like, I wish they would have done this with the movie. This is where I really think they had an opportunity to fucking go for gold with oh, this. Oh, yeah. Because, because it's like the, the guy with the long hair who's telling this, this flashback, and then the dad. It's mm-hmm. the dad. He looks exactly like yeah. the dad. Because it's from two years earlier. It's the dad. Right. Um, <clears throat> and so they're going, they tell us this long story about finding aliens and blah, 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 blah. It's the plot of the first movie. But... At some point in that, he kills his friend, and he says, I thought it was the clone. I thought it was the yeah. duplicate. <laughs> like, there was a clone of this guy made. Yeah. Yeah. And- so, so what should have happened for this movie is what we should... Uh, spoiler, this isn't what happens, but what should have happened is the dad should have turned out to be a fucking alien oh. in this movie. Oh, yeah. That would have been amazing. Oh. It didn't happen that but, way. But, you know, Mike, I gotta, I gotta slap you here real quick, is that... I mean, I'm sorry for the spoilers... But what we get from this flashback is something even better. This What's flashback that? has absolutely nothing to do with the movie you're watching. <laughs> Not at all. It oh is my literally God. just padding. Dude, and in the flashback, <laughs> the two guys, the long haired guy and his buddy, they kill a man and then they just go camping. Like, you can't yeah, do that. Right. They hit a guy on the side of the road. They take him to a well, doctor. They take him to the and vet. He, he, yeah, he dies. And they just, they leave. They Time walk away and go camp in a park. <laughs> I don't, like, we shouldn't even, we don't even need to go over the whole flashback because it really doesn't have anything to do with it. But, like, <laughs> there's a there's a skinless woman, I think, in there. And they run yeah. around. Yep. And and then at, the, at some point, the, the guy who's being interviewed, the long-haired guy who's through this whole thing has been interviewed, he's sitting against a white wall. And... At the end of his, at the conclusion of his flashback story, he walks off screen, and you never hear from him again. <laughs> He's out of the film. That is now, it. And back to the movie. It's so weird. Now, I may argue we do see him again. Do we? Because what I, what I believe happens is he walks off screen, and then uh, Santa Claus falls off of a roof that, outside of the police station, and he has to become Santa Claus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, you're you're bringing sense. something to it here. Okay. I th- I think that's what happened. Like like in, uh like Ernest Saves Christmas, where Santa has to pass. He's too old. He has to pass on the mantle of Santa Claus, and he has to yeah. find the perfect candidate to be the new. That Santa. is exactly the Christmas movie I'm referring to. Yes. It's not one that has the exact same plot I just <laughs> said. It's something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, so. So Santa falls on the ground, and the kids see him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's true. The kid is on the, the ground. The kid is watching no, no, him but... out the window. <laughs> but oh, is it 
isn't this, aren't the aliens, the aliens are already in the house, and they're making the terrible noise, and they, they find Santa. The aliens oh, find Santa before the kids do. Oh, right, yeah. And yeah. They, try to, they try to eat Santa Claus, but it turns out it's just a piece of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> and they're very confused by it. Did they start uh, to try to eat the tree or something, too? They, yeah, they're eating the lights and the ornaments and shit. They're just going fucking hog shit on this tree. When your soul is in that much pain from the mere act of existence. <laughs> yeah. They're trying to poison themselves with plastic. <laughs> yeah. They're doing whatever <laughs> they're they like, can let me eat the, to, let end, me eat this to glass. end this torture, to end this suffering. Chew on these wires. Something's going to kill us, please. <laughs> uh, but yes. Santa's outside. And, and is, this is where the dad comes face to face with one finally. Like, he finally yep. realizes yeah. yep. that the aliens are happening. And and this is near the end of the movie. I mean, most oh, yeah. of the movie, the nobody has any idea of what's going on with the aliens. Yeah. It's very, very sort including of the audience, segmented. Really. Yeah, including the audience. But yeah, Santa's outside. He's dying in the snow. The kids are like, Dad, Santa's out there. And the kid, he's like, shut up, you dumb idiots. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Santa's not real. Fuck off. But it's really about this t- this point where we really get to see the full might of the alien weaponry is when they start shooting oh. at the house. The flying oh, saucer. Yeah. Well, shoot- well, the saucer. Yeah, not the, saucer, the, aliens. Not the aliens. They don't yeah. use their no. They don't use spaghetti hands no. for anything. No. <laughs> but they do have flying uh, saucer guns. Yeah. And okay, so like, doesn't the dad help Santa eventually? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he eventually gets out there for him. He like the, the the aliens like trap the family in a bedroom, and mom's like, "What's going on? I was sleeping." I don't know. It's a bunch of weird shit. Um, <laughs> yeah. the the kids The kids are like, "Dad, those are the elves we saw," and he's like, "Those aren't elves." <laughs> and okay, so so when Santa and Dad team up to fight the aliens, you you had the the subtitles on D- when the aliens are closing in to attack. It's uh-huh. Santa. Whips out a, a laser gun and says, does he say Merry Christmas ball bag? Is that what he says? No, no. Okay. So, so the dad is sitting on the ground in the kitchen and he thinks he's going to die. And, and the, I don't know why. I have no idea why the dad says this cocky line because he doesn't do the killing. But dad does say Merry Christmas bald head. And then Santa pulls out. An experimental laser gun that the elves have been working on for next Christmas. This is the worst Christmas I've ever had. Merry Christmas, bald head. So I don't know what the kids are getting next year, but they're bringing a fucking gun, apparently, uh, that shoots lasers. But he kills the aliens with these lasers in a beautiful montage. Merry Christmas, ball bag. <laughs> the, the, effect, <laughs> the effects aren't nearly as good, but Santa goes full on night beast well, against these bastards. He does. Uh, well, that's true. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Oh, and he somehow destroys the ship. Yeah, like, like, I don't know. Santa goes from one moment just like, oh, I'm dying. What? Something shot me down to blowing away aliens with a laser. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, oh, and he, can, and he can teleport, guys. Oh, he teleports. I, I didn't know yeah. that part of Santa's lore, but oh. Santa can fucking teleport. Well, he teleports objects. And he can, tele- he can teleport presents to all yeah, the naughty I mean, children of the universe. Yeah, I mean, makes sense if you think about it. I guess yeah. it does. That, that's yeah. why he can reach every single house. Right. In, yeah. So which, is, I, which is... <laughs> <laughs> Which is good because dad, dad some after dad, Santa kills all the aliens, dad's like, ah, oh, shit, Santa, can you save Christmas? And he's like, yeah, I'm fucking Santa, of course I can. <laughs> what do uh, what do the really naughty kids get for Christmas? <laughs> they get a bomb. Oh, are you talking about... The- <laughs> what what what's what what I love most about that is that some Santa had an elf somewhere take this bomb and wrap it up really nicely. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And then he teleports it onto the flying saucer. <laughs> yeah, he teleports it onto the alien ship and it blows up and it's amazing. <laughs> oh, but thankfully, this was all just a dream. Yeah, Santa like does this like hypnosis type weird thing to dad's face and then dad wakes up. <laughs> and it was all a dream. Oh, he I... gave him one last present though. He's like, oh, he's yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, here, yeah. you get this present, right? So then he wakes up from the dream. Sorry, that's important. <laughs> <laughs> now, the question is, guys, was it a dream? Uh, I mean, this is uh, a real Inception 
type yeah. of uh, question here. I'm gonna mm. I'm gonna just say no, because otherwise the last hour and a half of my life was pointless. <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm not gonna go against that. <laughs> he, here's the thing. Here's my thing that maybe says it was a a dream, or Santa can just actually fix Christmas and make it better mm, in more yeah. ways than just him still delivering presents. Because that is a bit selfish. No, I will accept Be- that. I'll accept that explanation too. So because because yes, the present that he gave him before he made him wake up is under the tree, and that mm-hmm. does get to open it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So so that says it wasn't a dream, but there is a dog barking in the background, which makes oh, me think Doggo's still alive. Yeah, okay, all right. We gotta say what the gift is. Well, well, hold on. It could also, though, be that the dog was someone else's dog and just taunting them, because it was an <laughs> exterior shot, and the dog's barking outside, so it actually might have been the neighbor's dog being like, where's my buddy? And, you know... <laughs> Isn't there? That's probably more likely. Okay, guys, what was the present? Who wants to say it? I think Jay is really excited about this. It. I All will right, admit Jay. this is the <laughs> best. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean, Jay? It was an alien. It pops he out burst? of the box like a chest oh. burster pops out of God a chest. God damn it! And and it freeze frames and credits. Oh, it's so fucking good. Oh, guys, if more movies oh. ended like this, oh. just oh, I wish more movies had the sound design this one did. Oh, <laughs> you know, no. guys, Saving Private Ryan came out in 1998. <laughs> 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 just oh. no, no, Jay, Jay, are you sure you're not talking about Saving Private? <laughs> Wait, Chris, I can't tell if you were going to say something or if you're now in <laughs> existential pain. <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> Fuck, man. Uh, okay, guys. Well, I think we've covered this movie, this this 72-minute masterpiece for, <laughs> for Christmas. Um, so let's just get into ratings. Rating time. Rating time. Now, Chris, you know we just edit that in, right? Yeah. Oh, oh <laughs> shit. God damn it. Is that... I th- we don't... I wondered you, why it didn't. It never sounds like me when we say Do you listen to the podcast after we record I it? I do. Like, because we... I it's thought not you, you. I thought you put some effects no. on my voice or something. Chris, no, it's Uncle Lloyd. Sound like don't listen else. to Mike. We do. It's, it's totally... Okay. Oh, fuck that you. Makes, God like, damn it. I always do the intro, too, you know? Crazy Chris. Yeah, that <laughs> sounds great. <laughs> Oh, what a holiday treat. Um, okay, guys. So, <laughs> so uh, all right. So so we just watched this Christmas classic, and uh, I think we need to rate it one out of 100 screaming pinatas. Oh, nice. God. So I hope you're ready to tell me what you think. Yep. Mm, who goes first? Who gets forced into this one? Uh, Hudson, you started a little earlier. Let's hear it. All right. Okay. Oh, God. You, you know what? I don't even know where to begin, really. I mean, it's, there were a lot of, like, there were a lot of pretty fun gags. Most of the stuff that was purposefully funny kind of fell flat, but there was a lot of unintentional humor on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was funny. The alien design, as, as stupid as it is, it's fucking perfect. I, I, I w- <laughs> I laughed every time they were on the screen. Every time you saw, every time you saw their spindly little arms or their legs, I just laughed. Oh my god! Oh, but as much fun as it is, this movie, it, yeah, it's short, but it's so slow. Oh my god! I just kept checking how much longer, how much longer. This, this is really, this is only barely over an hour. Come on, it's got to be over soon. Oh, so that's gonna that's gonna bring it down a bit. But, uh, you know, I, I, I always have a rating in my head on this. And then when we talk about it, I'm like, oh, yeah, that was pretty cool. That's great. And this, this, I, I usually end up improving my score. So I'm going to give this one 75. Oh, damn it. <laughs> damn it. 
Oh, that's fair. Listener, we're almost over. But, You're almost but, free of the sound. But with the caveat, oh. so it's only 75, but with the caveat that everyone must see this movie. <laughs> that's fair. Uh, all right, Jay? Um, okay, so, yeah, I feel sort of similar. Like, I- I'm not going to rate this super high, but I do think people should watch it. Um, the aliens are funny. I think the reason it feels so slow is because everything is so disconnected. Like you've got the random people yeah, yeah, that are yeah. dying. You've got uh, and you've got the the old lady, the priest, the pallet guy. Like none of it really connects. The the long haired dude with the flashback. Nothing, nothing really clicks together. And I think if it did, it would have been a but a better movie. I think. And, and also the other thing that kind of is, is weird is that, you know, the aliens are running around like the whole movie. Like there's no shortage of alien scenes, <laughs> No. but the family <laughs> doesn't really realize what's happening until almost the end. So again, it just makes it, all the pieces feel too separate for me. Um, and so when I was, when I was looking at the rating, I'm like, well, it, it, it just keeps coming back to fungicide. Like, it really has that level of, that, which, fungicide is another one you should go see. Um, it, it's that level. It's There's no money in this. And they don't even try to convince you that there is. And that is charming. Um, it did not have a theme like fungicide, though. Mm, well, we got the alien theme. noises instead. Yeah, you did get the alien noises yeah. instead, I guess. But um, so I, I did have fun with this a little <laughs> bit. I do think it it feels it's a long seventy two minutes or whatever it is. Um, so I'm gonna give it sixty eight screaming pinatas. Oh boy! Wow, what else to be said about this uh, <laughs> this Christmas classic? Mike, uh, where does this rate in your all time list of favorite Christmas movies? Because I believe ninety uh, fivers is up no. there now. Where's oh, this 90 one? Fibers is absolutely up there. Shit, 90 <laughs> Fibers is so good. <laughs> but Tom where does Durham, this one rank? If, Tom, Thomas Durham, that's the guy's name, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> please, if you're if you listened to that and now you're listening to this Christmas episode, pl- please make another one. <laughs> please. <laughs> please make another 90 Fibers. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, like this, I mean... There's Muppets Christmas Carol. There's Ernest Go- Saves Christmas. There's you know Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. Where, where does it fall in this this myriad of, of beautiful Did you just holiday this classics? Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. <laughs> oh man, God. maybe maybe my least favorite Christmas movie, Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. <laughs> oh, uh, that, fight okay. me, fight me, fuck you. It's boring. Uh, anyway, Muppets Christmas Carol, number one favorite. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Um, no, no, this, I, 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 this obviously isn't for everyone, but, uh, the man, this is a fun schlock fest and I don't, I didn't think it was all that slow because it was so disjointed. I think it kind of jumps around and you don't know what the fuck's happening. And you're like, why is this old woman here? Oh, that dog's got a cast. Oh, the dog's dead. Okay. You know, all that stuff. And there's up, there's happiness, there's sadness. It's all over the place. You know, mom and dad get funky, and that's <laughs> great. Moms and dads should still be fucking. You, you gotta, you gotta keep it up. Uh, Jay's knows, Jay's knows what I'm talking about. What? Anyway, um, what? Uh, anyway, uh, now, uh, no, I. This isn't for everyone, but I, I have, a, I had a lot of fun with it, and I think everyone should see it and give it a chance. So I'm gonna give it 80 screaming pinatas. Nice. Right. Yeah, so, I can see yeah, your justification. Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. Mileage may vary right. with this one a little bit. Sure, sure. But uh, everyone should see it. We're, we all agree on that. Yes. Yes. Well, and speaking of speaking of everyone having <laughs> should see it, uh, I'd like to thank everyone who came to The Native in Chicago, the bar that I screened a bunch of movies at uh, monthly. And because we showed this one and um, Santa's sleigh for Christmas. And I thank everyone who now listens to the podcast or did before or whatever the deal is. Thanks for listening. Thanks for coming in. It's really fun to do this. And if you haven't done this and you live in the Chicago area, um, starting next month, January 2019, uh, twice a month, the second second Sunday and the fourth Sunday of every month, uh, we're screening movies. And we play bingo with it, and we have a lot of fun, and it's a really good time at a place called The Native. So... Come check us out and, if you haven't yet. It's a great time. And there are prizes, right? 
Oh yeah, yeah, there's prizes for all the movies, and the bingo's really fun, it's all jokes within the movie, and everyone shouts and has a good jolly time, just like the holiday season should be, but we do it twice a month now, so. Mm-hmm. Very Take cool. that, Easter. <laughs> and I don't, if I don't know why we're fighting Easter. <laughs> if you're listening to this and you somehow have not subscribed to us, we would like to encourage mm. you to do so, and... If you like us and you find us um, at all amusing, maybe uh, give us some stars or a nice review. How about that? That'd be our, a nice Christmas gift for us from you that would cost nothing but a little bit of time. But if you do have a little bit of cash sitting around, there's Ooh. a link on our website to our wonderful t-shirt shop where we have t-shirts yay, and sweatshirts. Yes, we do. I officially have to get those up before this goes out now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we at least have t-shirts. We may not have... Sm- no, the sweaters I'm- are up. The sweaters are 100% totally up. There. <laughs> <laughs> it's behind the curtain. This is this is like a month before this comes out. They'll be up. <laughs> uh, yeah, and also, if you if you want a, a way that doesn't necessarily cost you money to help support us, uh, if you go to support dot bmoviemania.com uh, it's a landing page that's got a, a few links on it specifically there's an Amazon link you can click through um, and anything you buy which you're already buying from the corporation that is Amazon anyway uh, we get a little tiny kickback from that for every for a referral situation so if you click through there and anything you buy you know because you didn't buy someone Christmas gifts maybe or you've got some extra cash and you want to spend <laughs> that for your thing click through our thing it doesn't cost you any more money all it does is just give us a tiny percentage of what you spend, and that really helps us with you know the work that goes into the podcast. Affiliate program. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Dear God. All right. Well, guys, I I wish I wish I had a song for us this year, and this is a real letdown even bringing it up because I totally forgot that last year I sang us a special. B yeah. movie maniacs Christmas well, song. I don't guys, but you could you could still get that Christmas song by either <clears throat> going to Bandcamp and the link will be in the page. So <laughs> just go to it, uh, or just listening after this episode because fuck it, I'm just gonna tag it on the end. Awesome. So hey, you can well, hear hey. hear the special B movie maniacs Christmas song. Well, I mean, if since you dropped the ball, Mike, I think I can pick it up and oh, and let us go out on a very. Special song for this very special Christmas edition of B Movie Mania. <coughs> I think I know me, where me, this me, is me, going. Me, God me, damn it! Me, no, me, 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 me. no. Oh no! Uh, God damn it! No, no. Run the music. No. Run the theme song. Quick. Run it. Start it, Mike. Run edit it in song. now, Mike. Why are you waiting, Mike? Oh, put Mike. it in now. Oh, I can't take it, it anymore. Oh, what is going Christmas, on, everybody? M- Merry oh, Christmas. Sorry. So we sorry. Love you all. Oh, we love I love you. every one of you too, except for Hudson. I don't uh, love Hudson anymore. Oh goodness, so this is pain. awful. Okay, start the music. Oh, thank God it's over. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's gonna be a great ending. Jay, it's not even over yet. <laughs> no, it, yeah, it is. It's I totally can't over. keep it up. <laughs> oh, God. It's so Merry Christmas <laughs> and a Happy New Year Woo-hoo. and all the other holidays and everyone. And even Goodbye. to those of you who don't celebrate holidays. Oh, come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye <laughs> that was great. Thank you, Mike. That that's the perfect song to go with this fire that we have here, this oh, eggnog. Come oh, there's more. Ye maniacs praising the low budget.
shit so come ye oh come ye to be movie mania come and behold paul he eats vegan pizza oh come let us adore jay oh come let us adore chris oh come let us adore paul mike is your favorite oh no, come I was really hoping you would sing Angel Baby. I got way off key there at the end there, Hudson. (laughs) 